What's up, you bunch of GP? We find ourselves here today in lovely Lake Buena Vista, Florida, at uh, Epcot, the big golf ball. Well, we're here for the International Food and Wine Festival, ah. uh, which is running here at Epcot until uh, November 19th of this year, 2022. Uh -huh. People often say it's the best food festival in any park. It's the gold standard, the reason why many of the regional park chains are doing food festivals now. So yeah, we're here to enjoy some great food today and ride the brand new roller coaster, Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind. First up, Frozen After Ever. Ah, formerly Maelstrom. Yes. Let's go, let it go. Like someone lost Buzz Lightyear in the in the pond. No! All right, I've got got my passport. It's the complete guide to what they have to offer here. So put them at, uh, mashed potatoes and and raised beef. Raised beef, yeah. Uh, potatoes and raised beef. St. Bernardus with beer. And some beer. All right, from Brazil we have a little cheese bread and a little feijoada, which is black beans, pork belly, and rice. Okay. Bread, bread. Fiesta. <laughs> this is the griddled cheese with honey and pistachios. You can get this in the Greece pavilion. So this is the warm raclette from the Alps. This raclette cheese is melted over uh, pears and figs and a little so sweet uh, cherry toast. All right, so this is the swanky, saucy swine bourbon Bloody Mary with Woodford Reserve. And of course, you've got the uh, bacon topper kind of peeking out there. Uh, it's a whole strip of bacon. Look at that. This is a, uh, oh, it's a waffle with chocolate, Belgian waffle. Belgian waffle with ganache. Chocolate ganache and some whipped cream. So All right, we got a little orange slushy Grand Marnier. Cheers to you, bud. Cheers. Happy birthday to Thank Rob. You. Happy birthday, oh, Rob. Oh yeah, guys. Happy birthday, Rob. Rob Ackerman, again, here he is. What's up? He's with us. How we doing? And our buddy Chuck, yeah. he's right around the corner getting his stupid and Chuck, lemon slushy. Chuck's getting lemon. he doesn't want to go Orange like the rest of us. <laughs> he wants to be different. He wants to be different every day. Yeah. Yeah. Let him express himself, guys. Come Freaking on now. Chuck. Cheers, fellas. Cheers. Oh, I got a brain freeze right now. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Probably delicious. Not good. Oh yeah, it's good. And it's boozier than it looks too. Mm -hmm. Taste the booze. That's a, that's <laughs> that's a must. Boozier than it looks.
You know, the cars can independently move and they don't have to move on the track. And it basically tells the story going through the kitchen and uh, you're basically Remy's size. Yeah. You're like a mouse. So it was cool. There were a lot of movie screens where you get little story parts and then a lot of big physical sets that are really gigantic to make you feel small. Yeah, like, like, oh, like we're a under rabbit. a shelf, we're under the stove, and you feel small. There's a giant broom over here, and yeah. really, really good use of the choreography of shuffling multiple ride vehicles through the same scenes. Yeah. A couple of parts where you get tucked into your own little alcove, you just get, so you have the best view. Mm -hmm. the vehicle next to you is in their own little alcove, seeing the same thing. Uh, and then you uh, blend back together. It's, all, it's very seamless, but uh, you can see how they're able to push so many people through in such a short amount of time. Very enjoyable ride. Well done. <laughs> so it's interesting, even though I only have a vague memory of this place from eight years ago, uh, after walking around, it's all coming back to me. Seems quite familiar again. spin on test track before you get on the attraction you basically design your own vehicle you tell them what you specify that if you like power or efficiency or responsiveness and you uh, either tap your Disney card or your magic band or your Apple watch however you have it set up and you get on the ride and afterwards it tells you the results so let's take a look at the let's see what you mine here Wait. oh there my car popped up I got a design score of 204 all right I'm gonna go Right here. We got a design up. score of 207. All right. First stage separation and manual control. I'm uh, turning on DXS mode. Oh, here we go. Don't worry guys, I'm a good driver. <laughs> Oh, it is 
missed it. <laughs> Uh, I think we, no, I think we made it past the landing site. <laughs> Bam, you see it? Yeah. It's finally old enough to drink. come from a Japanese family so of course this section of the park always feels really cool it's good to get in touch with your roots folks something just harkens back from the ancestral days I just feel it in my DNA I feel like I'm home <laughs>
they made Space Mountain better. They yeah. made 2022 awesome Space Mountain. That's basically what that felt like to me. Yeah. Uh, they told a great story. Yeah. There's like five pre-shows. <laughs> You're like, oh, I'm invested in this. Yeah, the, as we expected, the queue was beautiful. Tons of theming, really cool stuff that you walk through. And like you said, two pre-shows. So you get a little story, you get set up well. We got in the coaster trains, they're really spacious and comfortable. Yeah. Really nice. The coaster was smooth and it was buttery great. It was smooth. Fun. It's dead silent. I didn't hear any coaster noises while we were riding. Yeah. They play a lot of onboard audio, very engaging music, star field all around you. Yeah. Uh, very similar to when we rode Hyperspace Mountain a couple of months ago, but this is on a whole other level because it's just all modern technology. Correct. And there were movie screens everywhere that were telling the story as you're going around. And different props that were lit up. And so, yeah. it's a good story. As you mentioned, uh, the trains have onboard audio. They actually give you a random uh, selection of six different songs on this ride. So, it gives us some rewritability. You can try and hear a different song when you come back. So, for our first ride, we got one of my two favorites that I was hoping for. We got uh, And I Ran by Flock of Seagulls. Yeah. And the music matched up really good. It was cool. I was bobbing my head through the whole ride. So. I was thinking about the fact that that music video was just the camera swing. And I ran. So, you know, like, I was thinking about it. That's a fitting song for a spinning Vacoma train, right? Right. Yes. <laughs> but so, yeah, yeah, all in all, I think they did a great job. It's uh, not too extreme, so the. Younger kids can still ride it. It's, it's not super scary. It's, it's just a lot of fun. Very smooth. Not a ton of crazy drops or really dynamic yeah. motions. Not too much intensity. Yeah. Just li there were little pops and just a little bit of floater air time. Little, little fast turns and stuff yeah, like nice that. But banks, bank I, turns. Well, we had heard that a few people had gotten motion sick on this because it does spin, and I guess they're movie screens. So I mean, maybe if you're really sensitive to motion and trying to watch things, it might be a little difficult for you. But yeah, I couldn't feel it. I mean, like I said, that I feel like anybody can ride this ride. Yeah. Yeah. So you guys should definitely well come done, check it out.
And thus concludes our day at Epcot. Yeah. And uh, man, let me tell you, these new additions here are top notch. Remy's is really, really fantastic. Guardians, same thing. Ooh. I feel like they're taking classic themes and ideas that Disney has already done and bringing those into the 21st century full force with the technology. This park always kind of had the reputation of not having very many attractions, you know, or the attractions they had were, were lacking in any kind of thrills. And so these two attractions really bring the level up. You know, combined with an event like what we did here today, the International Food and Wine, it makes for an incredible day at Epcot. You know, we ate a ton of great food, had some fantastic alcoholic beverages, probably yeah. a few too many in the hot sun in the oh, early bro. part of the day, but uh Yeah. <laughs> We were drained about halfway through. We had to we had to regroup. But yeah, that's gonna do it uh, for this edition of the GP Coasters Day Drunk Now Recovering in the Nighttime <laughs> Adventures. For GP Coasters, I'm Jimmy. And I'm Gooch. And we are out of here. <laughs>